Hello everyone, you're watching Frame 316 Media and today I'm going to talk about YouTube banner size. This is one of the most common problems for new YouTubers. You know, I, I've talked to a lot of people who are really finding it hard, you know, how to center their logos, how, how to center their text and you know just just make that youtube channel art you know perfectly fit for multiple devices so if you're new here please consider subscribing and hit the notification bell so you will not miss out on videos like this in the future so we're gonna go ahead and i'm, I'm gonna walk you through you know a very practical and simple way on how you can create your proper youtube banners Okay, let's start off by talking about YouTube's banner size guidelines. So right here on the screen, you can see a few numbers here uh, that I'm going to be uh, discussing. Uh, but I'm going to show you later a, a quick walkthrough on how to properly do this because it's one thing to know the, it's one thing uh, uh, knowing the dimension, you know, but when it comes to the whole layout, how do you practically do this? So that's what I'm going to show you later. But first, uh, according to YouTube's banner size guidelines, the recommended banner size is 2560 by 1440 pixels. And the minimum image dimension is 2048 by 1152. The minimum image safe area for text and logos is 1546 by uh, 423 pixels. And the maximum image width, of course, is 2560 by 423 uh, pixels. So uh, the file size limit will be 6 MB. Okay, for some of you who are just, you know, starting doing YouTube and, you know, just uh, recording your vlogs, your episodes on your smartphones. So this is something that's probably, uh, you know, challenging for you. So I'm here to help you out with that. But I'm going to be using... Um, uh, software an application called photoshop so photoshop has been around for quite some time now so i'm going to be using the latest version which is photoshop 2021 and uh, you can actually download the trial if you go to the adobe website but the principles will stay if you will be using a different um graphic design uh, software that you choose okay so let's go ahead and create our uh, wrapper dimension which is 2560 pixels by 1440 pixels okay so now that we have here practically what you're looking at is the full wrapper or, or the, the full image dimension that would fit in uh, TV, you know, when you're watching uh, YouTube from your TV screen, uh, this is what people can see on your channel art. But I'm here to talk about, you know, how do you specifically work on the layout? As I've mentioned, um, we have those dimensions a while ago, but the first thing you need to do is, you know, add that boundaries, you know, add, add that um, guidelines, you know, the, the markers on this specific image so that we can start working on it okay by doing the mathematics just to explain this to you quickly when we want it when we want to design the, the element or the design the banner art the channel art for a desktop maximum it's going to be 2560 by 423 and the tablet area will be 1885 by 423 and of course the save image for your text and logo it means and uh, this is the specific area in this layout that we're going to be working on it has to be within the 1546 by 423 area okay but how do we do this so first we need to lay down the um the markers or our guidelines okay first we have to figure out that 423 height so uh when we do the mathematics our maximum height right now is 1440 so if we subtract um, 423 we from uh, 1440 we will have uh, 1017 and if we divide it by 2 we have 508.5 meaning our boundary should be the first mark should be at the 508.5 and then that's where the 423 space comes in and then we should have a third uh, section of our layout which is also 5 
0.08.5. So how do you do this in uh, uh, Adobe Photoshop? So by going to the view menu here on top of your screen, you can just simply go to add new guide. Okay, so we're working right now, we're going to be working first on the horizontal guide. So as we have mentioned a while ago, our first marker should be on the 508.5, right? So when I hit OK, uh, Photoshop would simply create that guideline for me in that area. So uh, the next simple thing to do now is create another guide and we write that 508.5. Okay, sorry about that. We put 508.5, I'm just gonna zoom this in so you can see. Uh, the, the cool thing about Photoshop is you can actually do addition here. So I'm just gonna put 508.5 plus our minimum height, which is 423. And when I hit okay, you practically have the idea that now I have this you know, middle section covered here. So this is where our text and logo would uh, come up later. Now let's work on the uh, borders or the guidelines on the left side and on the right side. First, let's work on the area that would fit the 1546 um, design space. So what we need to do again mathematically is our maximum width is 2560. We subtract 1546 from that, we would get 1014. And dividing it by two, we have 507. So going back to our uh, new guide, we would just simply uh, shift the vertical because now we're doing the vertical uh, guide. And our first number is 507, which we did uh, our computation. Okay, so now you're getting the idea. So the next thing for me is, you know, what should be the dimension for the area here in the middle? So I'm just gonna create another guide and simply write here, I'm gonna zoom in again so you can see. So 507 plus, 1546, which is our um, width for this area. Okay, now we have this uh, section here, okay? So the next thing to do is uh, the one where it's gonna cover the tablet, okay? The tablet space, okay? So for that, our width would be 1885. So what we need to do is go to the new guide again, do it. Um, the same thing by, do, by mathematically subtracting 1885 from 2560, we will have 60, 675 and dividing it by 2, it's simply 337.5. So our first mark would be at the 337.5 mark. So you can always replay this, place and replay uh, if you want to follow uh, step by step. So I need the marker here, you know, to create my what you call this, my safe area for a tablet. So in the same manner, I'm just gonna go to new guide and do the math again here, which is 337.5 plus our width for a tablet. Now we have a complete set of range here. So I'm just gonna be highlighting uh, what you're seeing on the screen right now. So the one in the middle, which is highlighted right now on your screen, is the desktop minimum and mobile text and logo safe area. Meaning, I'm gonna show you later, any logo, you know, any uh, text that you want to be seen on your channel art should be within this space. And extending on the left and the right, as, as highlighted on the screen right now, this will be your tablet space area, right? This is what, people would see on your channel art when they are looking on an iPad or a Samsung tablet. And of course, the maximum for a desktop is the 2560 by 423, which is being highlighted now on your um, screen. So let's try uh, to, and I'm gonna try to show you how it's actually done. Okay, so I have my logo opened here. So. Uh, what I need to do is uh, first, I'm just gonna copy my uh, logo and by doing 
Command A or Control A on your Windows. I'm going to copy this and I'm just going to bring this into our lay layout. As you can see, it's a bit big. So we would just adjust this. So because I wanted my logo to show up in that safe area, I have to make sure that it would go anywhere within this you know, safe area in the middle. So I would just practically resize it in a way that it looks a bit, you know, fit in there. And of course, it always makes sense to just, you know, practically go to the middle. So by using the marquee tool, I can simply, you know, crop or delete the area that overlaps my guidelines okay now i have this here so now i let's say um for a tv display i would just uh, simply you know want a full graphic so i have here a photo from pexels.com and i'm just gonna paste this under my logo here and I'm just gonna fill the whole screen now so you know this is what I expect to see uh, on my channel art and if I need to add a few more text let's just try to add in text here I'm just gonna write here uh, simply frame 316 let me just resize this somewhere here and I'm just gonna duplicate and uh, you know copy this and I'm going to write here my second word, which is media. So I'm just going to work on a bit of an alignment here. So now I'll just to, you know, give you an idea and to show you how this looks like. Um, my image is a bit off. So I'm just going to drag this here. So there, there you have that uh, snap to center featured by Photoshop. So uh, just to give you an idea, if I'm looking at a desktop, this is what will show up on my YouTube art, okay? YouTube channel art. And if I'm working, if I'm viewing, watching YouTube on a tablet, this is what's gonna show up. And if I am watching on a smartphone, okay? This is the safe area. So the idea here is just to make sure that you have all your design elements in that specific area. So creating the guidelines is important. So, and of course, when you're looking at it uh, from a television or a big screen, this is what it's gonna look like. For example, if you're watching it on Apple TV. Of course, um, there's a shortcut on Photoshop. It's command semicolon just to hide those guide here. So basically this is what your whole layout look like. And again, looking at a smartphone, looking at a tablet, and looking at a desktop. So I hope this uh, quick tutorial have been helpful to you. If you find any value in this video, please hit subscribe and the notification bell. Thank you for watching and see you in my next videos.